All right, so today we're going to be making some awesome micro content from a video podcast for Instagram Reels or TikTok or something like that. Something like that. So I'm using DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editing program. And once I've created a new project, I'm going to drag the video from Finder into this media pool here. And then I've already done that. Now I'm going to drag it down. And now the idea here is we need to separate the zoom video, which is side by side. And just to back up a second, when you add this to your project, most likely it's going to be 1920 by 1080, which will make it more like what you see on zoom. So what you're going to want to do is come to project settings and swap these. All right. Now, we need to enlarge, we need to duplicate this timeline and stack it and we need to slice them in half. So the way we're going to do that is selecting this clip, command C, and then I drag my cursor to the end and hit command V to paste it and drag it on over above. And then what I like to do is mute maybe the top track because we don't need double volumes going through. And to start, you're going to want to blank out disable the bottom video track, and then go to inspector once you've selected the top clip. And you're gonna to wanna to input something, depending on your Zoom call and, and aspect ratio and all that, you're gonna to wanna to input something that works for you. But for, for me, I tested before and three by three is pretty good. And then this, I want to put negative 901 and negative 1571. That positions that where I need to put it then I need to crop it a bit and we'll figure that out in a moment we'll fine-tune that but now I'm going to go ahead to actually I will select this I'm going to go to crop top until I see it starting to cut into the video and I'm going to just find the spot where it just starts about there now now what I will do is All right, so now what we're going to do is undisable the bottom track. And we're going to probably need to slide it up. We're going to also need to enlarge it, probably three by three at least. And then you can always just drag the clip around. In fact, I think this top clip may need to be 3.3 .3 in order to, or even bigger. And I kind of like a bar in between on some clips. It, lets you have an opportunity to see the brand color. So the last thing we need to do is slide it over so that the guest is centered. And there we go. And we're good. All right. Awesome. And so there we go. There is our micro content set up. Now we need to find the clip and I'll show that in the next video. All right, and so now what we're gonna want to do is find a selection that we know we want, so highlight both of these clips and hit the scissors. When we do that, we'll be able to create a slice in the timeline. Then we have a couple options. We could keep scanning and find about a minute and slice it, or we could delete the clips that are in front of our selection and then go to exactly a minute here somewhere about here, there's a minute, and then create another slice, and then we can delete everything else. And there we go, now we have our micro content and we can add transitions, we can add titles if we need anything we want. I like to add an, a call to action card at the end here. And then it'll be time to export from this tab here where we can select all of our settings and add to the render queue and then render. So I'm gonna have it all here, I can find the location that I want to save it there. I'll make it an MP4. Add to render queue, call it something, and then click render all and it'll export. 